Okay, so now turn to page 21 and we're going to do a word problem. I'm gonna do the first one for you and you're gonna finish the next three. Um, the answers are posted in the answer packet and if you turn the page there's also a QR code so you can find another video, but I will do the first one for you. This says the weight W in pounds of a loaf of bread that a recipe yields is given by the function W equals one half F, where F is the number of cups of flour used. You have four cups of flour. Graph the function and identify the domain and range. What is the weight of the largest loaf of bread you can make? Okay, so they tell me W equals one half F. Now they're also telling me my domain is restricted. I can't have less than zero cups, and I can't have more than four. Now, I can have one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, but I don't have to write them. So I'm only going to write zero, one, two, three, four, but I know this is going to be a continuous graph because weight can come in half cups, quarter cups, eighth of cups, um, I'm sorry, the flour can, and the weight can be half a pound, quarter of a pound, etc. So this would be zero, one half, one, three halves, two. So I'm going to graph zero, zero, one, one half, two, one, three, three halves, four, two. Now, because I already discussed it was continuous, I'm going to connect them. Now it can't go below zero because you can't have negative cups of flour. And it can't go above four cups because that's all you have. But I can connect them because in between I could do half a cup of flour, which would weigh a quarter of a pound, okay? So my domain in this case is a compound inequality. The amount of flour is in between zero and four. It's greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to four, which means my range is going to be a compound inequality between zero and two. So if you look here, weight, weight can be anywhere from zero all the way up to two. Flour can be any way from zero all the way up to four. And the largest loaf would be right up here. It would weigh two pounds. Okay, so I want you to finish number two on page 21 and three and four on page 22. And if you need to look at the answer packet, go ahead and look at the answer packet. Now, um, I will, if you want, stop the video and I'm going to show you the answer to number two, but I want you to try to do number two on your own. So stop the video and turn it on when you're done. Okay, so if you're done with number two, here I did distance. Distance I went from zero to 200. And time I counted in hours I went from zero to four. I did a table to come up with values and that's how I graphed the value and I got an answer of 125. Okay, now, if you want to try three and four, stop the video, and I will then show you the answers. So here's my answer to three, and here is my answer to four. Okay, now you may start the homework. Good afternoon, UMS.